Okay, so this is maybe a week or two after I filmed the last video and you've noticed the table is gone. So this actually, I cleared this table that same day I filmed that video. <laughs> it was a little bit after and I said, hey, I might as well just get this clean. So I got it cleared except for these pieces and I will probably maybe later today, probably tomorrow because it's almost 12 o'clock actually right now. <laughs> uh, in the evening so I'll probably do this tomorrow I just have to find the bags that these are in which are over here I have to find those bags and put those in and so you can see <laughs> there's a lot more bags now and there's a yeah there's a lot of pieces and things here a lot of bags just have like one thing in them um, and like I said one day they're all gonna be put into something like that but that's just not happening yet so I wanted to update you guys on that and today I'm going to share my first, well not my first haul ever, but this will be my first haul video probably ever. Um, I have done one before but I haven't posted it so um, probably more on that later. But I got something at the Lego store today so in a second I'll show you what that is. So as I said I went to the Lego store today and got two things so the first i got if i use one handed i got a small cup of pick a brick and uh oh the lid's not really on there very well that's okay so um i will dump this out in a second and then i'll probably sort it out it, there's not really a whole lot in there so it will take a couple seconds to do that and the second thing I got is this, the uh, Ninjago, uh, I don't know if it's called like a people pack, no it's not a people pack, it's just like an accessory kit, I think. So I got that because everyone's got to have Johnny Thunder right there, I think that's who it's supposed to be, even if they don't name him that. Uh, and I also just like these minifigures, the, uh, like the white zombie looking guy and the snake head is, is actually really cool. So. Yeah, I got both of those things, and I will dump out this cup, and then I'll sort it out. Okay, so I finished sorting out the cup, and I'll just go through what I got. So, we have some little red studs here, red pieces there, ice cream pieces I think is what those are called over there. I put... Uh, all the carrots I got, I put them in this little dish because they kept rolling around on the table everywhere. I got some of these tan uh, bricks with the stud on them. I don't know what they're called exactly, but basically any brick like that, I call them snot bricks because that's basically what they're used for. And I got these stem pieces, which are part of the carrots, uh, green slopes, and these like corner pieces in green. So reason why I got some of these pieces, and it was kind of funny because the the guy at the register when I was paying for this was like, so, you going to build anything specific with all this? And in my head, I was like, yes and no, <laughs> because I got, obviously, not all these colors go together and all these pieces go together, right? So uh, when I was looking at these in my head, I was like, okay, red studs, those are really useful to have for lava and fire and stuff like that. And then bread pieces, well, I don't have any of those in my collection, and those are good for uh, all kinds of things really and so basically a lot of these pieces were just for uh, you know s just having in my collection because I haven't had any like these ice cream pieces I don't have any of those and those are good for smoke and well ice cream <laughs> or popcorn or whatever right and carrots I don't have any carrots in my collection I'm pretty sure so now I have a bunch of those and those are great for a lot of things and so uh, I'm I, uh, I'm a medieval castle builder, and so, uh, or at least I want to get into that kind of stuff. And so, uh, having all these like food items and things is really good. Like having the bread is good for medieval stuff. Uh, carrots are really good for castle stuff. These tan one by things or one by one bricks with a stud, those are good for a lot of things. They're good for snot building for anything. Having the tan color is good for uh, medieval stuff as well. Having these stem pieces, great for the carrots, combining them, or just using them as their own piece, right? So, like, I've seen people use that for grass and stuff like that. And I don't have that in my collection either, so now I do. 
these green one by slopes really good to have for building green stuff uh green stuff uh grass like landscape stuff is what i mean and same with those pieces over there the uh little corner things as stacking those up and using other plates and stuff is really good for building landscapes which i've seen so i've been looking at this guide on the internet which is like this medieval guide i forget what it is if i find it uh or i will find it if i, if I remember to do this i'll put it in the uh link in the description and it's a really good guide it's like this full in-depth thing this guy goes like step by step on how to make a house how to do landscape work and stuff like this it's really really awesome so i've been reading that and uh that's why i got some of those pieces over there the uh the green corner ones over there because he uses those for landscapes like i mentioned before and these he uses in his builds as well i think so i was that's why I got those. So, um, so yeah, like I don't have a specific thing that all of these would be used for all in one thing. Like, oh, I'm going to make a house that uses all of these. Like, no, obviously not. But they are really good for other specific instances, which I'll use down the line somewhere else, right? So, yeah, that's why I got all these things. I'm pretty happy with everything I got. And now all that's left to do with this haul is to open up this thing and get into that so I'll do that uh also I didn't count all these I, I don't really want to I mean I could it's not a big deal I've done that before with other cups I've gotten I've only ever gotten two other large cups before and I counted those so I could count these this won't be that much but I don't really need to know how much I have of all of these pieces like I have other red studs I don't need to know how many I have exactly and I Unless you guys want to know, and maybe you do. So, uh, if I, yeah, I won't count them. If if I did count them, I'd, I'd put it in later, and you guys can let me know if, if you want me to count them up. So, now I will move on to this. Alright, so I finished building these guys up, and little set thing here. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> these figures are awesome, so I'll start... Uh, this isn't like a review or anything, it's just kind of like my thoughts on it. So, um, this serpent guy, he looks really cool. I love this head that he has, it's so cool. And um, if anybody has seen this show, um, I've been watching, or re-watching actually, I watched when I was a kid, I've been re-watching Stargate SG-1, and these guys look a lot like the serpent guards in the uh, gold. And if you haven't seen that show, then this makes no sense, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool figure, um, and he's got this nice copper shield thing. And this piece here is not actually connected to his head. I thought it was connected at first, but it's just a thing you put over, um, and I guess you could put something on the back of it. But yeah, it's a cool figure. And then moving on, on to Johnny Thunder. I think that's what his name is. And uh, he actually, whoops, get a <laughs> mainframe there. He actually has a really cool double face print, which I didn't realize. So... He has the, the main face print, which he has the eye patch covering the eye. But then he has another one, which is this one, where it's off the eye, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so that's cool. And then it has this belt piece. Um, and a nice back print in there, too, with the whip as well. And the hair piece. Yeah, he just he looks cool. And then we have this red ninja guy. I think this is Kai, but I could be very wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've, I did see the Ninjago movie. Uh, but I don't really know too much about Ninjago, and I'm not a huge Ninjago fan or anything, so I might be wrong about that. I have no idea. Uh, and then this guy is probably my favorite figure. The the Serpent guy is pretty cool, but this just looks awesome. He's like this ice samurai zombie guy, which just looks super cool. He's got this translucent arm, which is awesome. Um, too bad it's not like the, the Chima guys, which they have the the dual legs where one's like translucent but that's okay the legs still look pretty cool they have like the the armor sort of skirt thing that they wear i don't really know what it's called um and he has two face prints as well which is like there's an angry face and then there's this one with like the the snow that's like covering his eye or whatever I, it looks really cool he's got this awesome helmet too uh to pop this off this is the other face print which is just like an angry face and then this one which is just this I don't know, super cool with the ice, like, blotting out his eye, which is really cool. And then we have this little build thing, which I'll probably just take apart and use for the pieces because they're really cool pieces. Um, it's got some nice masonry break and dark tan down there. It's got these cool, uh, like, 
triangle pieces. I've never seen these before. These are really cool. Oh, where's my hand? There it is. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I thought it was a normal, like, cheese slope, but it wasn't. It's like this little pyramid piece, which is pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, I'll probably just take this apart. Uh, we got this little, another copper shield. And I was going to say, I don't understand why there's this one with the blue stud and then the other one doesn't. But it's because this one with the blue stud is for the zombie guy and the other one isn't. So it totally makes sense. Actually, you could probably, yeah, you could probably put this piece, hang on. So you could put this piece on here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Putting the little pyramid piece on the guy's shield. And yeah, it looks pretty cool actually. So there you go, a little modification for the set. <laughs> so yeah, this is my little haul that I got from the Lego store today. Um, I have this little plastic piece here. This is actually cool. This is in the shape of a minifigure, which I think is pretty awesome. So I'm probably gonna save that because it's kind of cool. So yeah, there's my haul. Um, let me know what you think about it, I guess. Um, and eventually these pieces will be used for something. Uh, probably not yet, but one day. And if you guys have any suggestions for cool things to do with some of these pieces, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.